Alright, uh, it's time to start the Tecmo Super Bowl season, and I decided to go with the Indianapolis Colts for the season because, uh, you know, I, I find that the computer isn't that much of a challenge with uh, the media, even the mediocre teams, let alone the good ones. So I just went with Indy because they're among the worst teams in the game. I could have done Cleveland, I could have done Atlanta, I could have done the Patriots. I definitely would not have done the Patriots. Uh, even back in the days when Tecmo, uh, when New England sucked. I mean, I guess they sucked this year too, for once finally. But uh, even in the days of uh, in Tecmo when everybody felt bad for them, I, uh, I don't in past, present, future anymore. Fuck it. So... I'm going with the Colts. Um, it, they're, aside from being the worst team in the game, they also have not the easiest schedule in the world either. I've got to play the Bills twice. I've got to play the Dolphins twice. There's a Raider game in there. There's a Bears game in there. Uh, I, Detroit is, you know, they're not the great team, but they have Barry Sanders. That's not going to be an easy task. So it will be interesting to see how it goes. I do have... Uh, the Patriots in the first game, so I'll be able to ease into it a little bit and, uh, you know, not have one of those tougher matchups right off the bat. I am a, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm too rusty in the game. I'm a little bit rusty, but it's, uh, Tecmo's one of those, I don't know, I guess you could say kind of like a bicycle. I'm not an expert in this game or anything like that. There's a lot of people out there that are uh, that are really, really good at this game and know a lot of nuances and know every team inside and out. It's quite impressive to watch the uh, you know the best of Tecmo play each other. But you know, I could definitely not commit to uh, playing any particular game enough to get that good at any of them. So I never got to be. Uh, even close to that. One thing I should have done was, uh... I could have looked into a little bit more on these play. I know that the Colts' defense is even worse than their offense, and they don't have, uh... Well, alright, we got our first points of the season. Um, one thing, some things I do remember is, uh... Is that it, there is uh, a bit of a... I don't call it a glitch or a uh, kind of a broken mechanic in the game where oh I got sacked where rushing up the middle can almost lead to insta sacks in insta yeah insta sacks instantaneous sacks so I'm gonna you know in the interest of fairness to the ah in the interest of fairness to the uh, to the computer opponent I'm not gonna do that and I'll make sure that I you know anytime I rush the passer I'll be uh, I'll be going at least around the guards like that. I, I went inside the tackle on that safety, but I didn't do the whole up the middle thing. I think that was, you know, fair enough. First touchdown of the season. I did change the playbook around. I didn't, uh, have a couple plays I wasn't all that jazzed up about, but I'll probably mess around with it as the season progresses. I will, I, you know, I, I will be very disappointed if I can't come through with a W here. Oh, look at that. I knocked, I didn't get that sack. Uh, that was a drone sack, but I did knock the blocker off of Dwayne Bickett there, and then the, uh, the CPU managed to get the rest of the... The rest of the way. That is called teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. It is the ultimate team game. For those of you out, actually out there, you know, <laughs> while we're on the subject of the Patriots, uh, a lot of you know I'm from Massachusetts, and if you're wondering why I, you know, despise the Patriots, <clears throat> it's because I'm a Raiders fan. And anybody that knows uh, history, I mean, you have to go back, way back in history, to talk about any significant Raiders playoff games, but. The Tuck Rule game was uh, the beginning of the end of any kind of, 
you know, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say the Patriots were kind of like a, a secondary team that I would root for, just as a local, but once that happened, that, uh, the infamous tuck rule game, I, it, it changed, and then it never went, it never got any better, my relationship with the Patriots just completely ev evaporated. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to step out of bounds there. Nice. So, and, and, and funny thing too is, uh, <clears throat> to answer a follow-up question that I know would probably get asked right after that is, uh, how the hell, or why the hell am I a Raiders fan? Um, actually one of the reasons is Tecmo. Uh, my, it's, when I grew up, you know, uh, baseball, basketball, and hockey... Everybody in my family rooted for the, the 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 Boston team, so it was all Celtics, all Red Sox, and all uh, Bruins. And as an impressionable kid, you know, it's like you kind of follow what uh, you know everybody around you does. You know, if I, if I was if, if for some reason everybody in my family were Giants fans, I probably would have grown up a Giants fan. But football was different. It was uh, I had. No, my father was a Jets fan, and he was a contrarian, so he was a, you know, uh, he always picked the, the rivals of everybody who's a Yankees fan as a uh, contrarian. Uh, then my grandfather and some other family members were Patriot fans, my uh, stepdad was a Giants fan, and my uncles were Raiders fans. So there was all kinds of uh, fandoms of a lot of different ilks, and I didn't really have... A horse in the race so I ended up kind of you know just from playing Tecmo and you know if you know anything about Tecmo you know that Bo Jackson is one of the nastiest players in the game I picked the Raiders just on a uh, just due to the association with my uncles rooting for them when I was messing around with different teams I you know gave them a world because of that and then oh, the first uh, points we gave up of the season right there so that was kind of how the how it started playing Tecmo, and then I researched the team, and uh, I liked a lot of what they were about. I loved the uniforms and the colors and the mystique and all that stuff. And this was in 1992. That was the first season that I started, you know, really watching football, and that was my first season watching the Raiders as a Raiders fan. <clears throat> and I was texting my stepdad, the Giants fan that I mentioned earlier, and. Uh, after the games today, this is, uh, I'm recording this on the, uh, final game of the 2020 season, final regular season game, and I texted him and said, you know, I've been watching these fucking Raiders for 29 seasons now, and I've seen them make the playoffs five times. And one of them, they had their third-string quarterback in there because their starter, Derek Carr, was hurt. And that barely even counted. I knew they were going to lose that game going into it. So it's really more like four times I've seen them. And I still go it year in, year out. Watch them fall. Take my lumps and come back again the next year. It will pay off for me eventually, I hope. But I'm not holding my breath. Nice diving catch by Pat Beach along the sideline. Kill some time, score a touchdown, grab a pint, and call it a half. Well, not a halftime just yet. Uh, Jeff George, he was a Raider at one point. He sucked during that time. Actually, he didn't. He wasn't too bad. The defense was awful in that period. Miss the days of the Patriots being this bad. They, it was uh, quite miraculous that they had such a bad year this year. And even then, it could have been. Uh, it, I mean, by Patriots standards, they were awful. They got to, they finished seven and nine. So I mean, it's how bad could that really be? It's the same record that uh, that my team. Oh no, they they were eight and eight. Whatever. Same thing around that medium mid tier level. 
that's an awful season by Patriot standards, so... That was one good thing that came out of it, but... I miss the days like this when the Patriots would win two or three games a season. Ah, I fucked that up. That's alright. Halftime. Uh, is this the cheerleader special? Yeah, this is one where every single f uh, out of the four... There's a lot of different halftime sequences. This is the one where all four of them are cheerleaders. I didn't really mess around with the lineups too much either. I know that there's a lot of uh, a lot of things to take into consideration. I'm just I just say fuck it. My team's on the field. I know that uh, like for example the even the quarterback situation. Jeff George. A lot of people put Trudeau in instead. Here comes the blitz. Um. Because Trudeau d does have, uh, one of his stats, uh, one of his attributes is a little bit better. Let's see what I want to do here. I'll do run two. That was always, uh, when running the, uh, yep, and it worked. Worked out quite well. I kind of expect, um... I'm not so sure how far I'll take this team. But I do expect to make the playoffs, I, I at the very least. You know, if I can get 10 wins out of this, uh... You know, I'll say that we as the as the as the Colts. That's uh, that's not a bad that's not a bad turnout. Especially since it's not the easiest schedule in the world. There are some cupcakes. You know, this is this this is one of them, and I've got them twice. Um, you know, the Jets aren't that good either. I've got them twice. Oh, nice catch. That was more actually, you know, nice pass too by uh, by Grogan. Just jumped over the uh, defender there. All right, there we go. Defense stepping up. I'm gonna mess around with all the defenders. Try all the positions. I'd like to say that be playing as the corner there that that was a coverage sack, but it definitely wasn't. That was an all-out blitz. I call, I call the play. For anybody that doesn't know, um, when as the um, defense, if you call the, uh, uh oh, if you call the um, the same play that they they call, if you call, if you, you know, you're expecting that play to come, then everybody in the whole fucking team basically. At least, uh... I don't know if it's everybody, you know, it's... not 100% sure if it's everybody on the whole team every time, or if it's just the front seven, or, or what happens. But there's an all-out blitz, and you're basically screwed back there. Wow, I almost got freaking safety at that time. Oh, shit balls. Oh, we cut it back. <laughs> uh, that would have been just something to be, you know, talk proclaiming my victory for the last half an hour or so, and then, uh, and then to fumble it away, and then just let them in, let them just let them back in it enough, you know, a two-score game in the to start the fourth quarter. That would have been just my luck. Uh, see, they're not. Nobody's covering anybody. Swerve, a little juke, a little, a little of this, a little of that. And just 
walked in, untouched, unchallenged. That's definitely more of about the opponent than it is about the team that I'm playing as. It's not gonna be like this all year, I can, I can tell you that. Now the Patriots are, along with the Colts, one of the one of the worst teams in the game. But it's a lot harder to beat a human opponent than uh than the computer than the computer. So you know if I was uh if I was playing against uh, playing against a, a human that was you know of my caliber or around that uh you know I'd I'd have a much harder time <laughs> beating the Patriots. Why are you even bothering calling timeouts? Sh shouldn't you, uh, you know, save your, uh, save the health of your players for the, for the next game? Just pack it in and call it a day. Not that, <clears throat> not that defenders ever get injured in this game or anything. Say that this the, the coverage team has had some uh, some issues getting and not in that particular return, but some of these returns have been pretty decent. And in that particular play, going running off tackle down the left or the bottom side of the of the field, that's given me the most problems so far. You know, it kind of makes me think I should cheat to that side. But we'll see what happens. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. Oh yeah, throw it into cut with his with quadruple coverage. Ready, down. Put, put, put. That was a great idea, Steve. And this one is winding down. And there should be enough time for one more play. Maybe two. And that was a nice fitting way to close out the game. Oh no, no, I got I thought I was going I thought I was going in. Oh well. You know, I padded the stats a little bit. The uh 177 yards of rushing right down their throats. I did give up over 100. Uh You know, it wasn't the best. My pass defense was much better. And I, you know, did well throwing the ball, too. But again, a lot of that had to do with the team I was going against. Patriots have... They, they, nobody was being covered half the time, so... I mean, nobody. I'm not saying that, you know, the guy... I had a, one guy that was open, and I had to hit him. It was like there were plays where I had all my receivers open, and it was just... The only thing that could have went wrong for me would have been if I just got too indecisive. Like, oh, should I throw it deep? Should I... Should I, yeah, should I throw it, uh, you know, intermediate? And then get sacked before I can make a decision. That would have been the only way that I could have possibly screwed that up unless... Or, or if George would have just thrown a bad pass, too. That was one of the reasons why I might have hesitated a little bit to throw deep, but whatever. It was more or less what I expected for the first game. And I think the next game is against Miami. I'm not positive, but I want to say that it was. I kind of glanced at the schedule a little bit, so... We'll see you, uh, we'll see you then, next week, against the Dolphins.